by the way, I'm I'm about your age. Okay. And so I, I gotta I gotta preface this really quick. And I, I feel <laughs> fucking terrible saying this. Oh boy. Okay. I didn't I didn't watch Drake and Josh. I was too old for it. You're I, you're allowed. Here's my question. Mm. That Dr- hurts to hear. I know you, Josh, and I and I know Drake mostly for his rap songs. Uh, How did you guys sell this relationship as brothers between Josh and Drake when he's clearly African American? No, uh, half African American, half African American, Jewish, like myself. And I mean, would you, and would Jew. you say that 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 show was what launched Aubrey Drake Graham's career to you know this rap superstardom? I don't want to take credit, mm-hmm. but what I'll say is is that we both grew up young. Um, you know, young teenage guys in Canada. Yes. Uh, all right. Um, different, different Drake. Drake, uh, Drake oh. Bell is the, is the one that was on the show with Josh. Right. Not Drake, the rapper. And not the rapper. Take a shot for me. Like all those songs, you don't know. That was not the same guy. Different guy. Different guy. Views from the six. Different no. guy. Yeah. No, no. But we appreciate you, Mike. Thank you guys for watching Impulsive. Thanks, we will see you next week. Do Take you, care. Does something feel slightly better? Now that it's <laughs> yeah. Something's great about this atmosphere right now. Very yeah. nice. I'll <laughs> totally sit the- <laughs> the, Drake and Josh. <laughs> on the show, his name was Drake Bell. No, that's his, well, that's his name in real well, your, life. Well, yours was Josh Nichols. His name was Drake Parker on the show. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. yeah. Why did they change your names? Well, we got to keep our first name, which was dope. Yeah, that's if, yeah. If I had to spend the rest of my life with like people, you know, being like Screech, I'd be yeah, like, oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> no, no hate on Screech. Much love, Dustin Diamond. <laughs> but like, so it was nice that we were our first names. But I guess they can't. Like, I'm sure for some legal reason they can. Um, they can't give us our, you know, allow us to have our full name. And like, we were characters. Like Victorious, Victoria Justice is is close. True, but interesting, right? Yo, what's the Nickelodeon machine like? Mm. Mm. It's, you know, it's changed so much since like when we were there, cause we were, I, I'm sort of proud of the fact, like, I feel like we were the last of the, like all that Keenan and Kel, yeah. Amanda yeah. show. Um, so back then, you know, there was no social media. It wasn't like we got these kids young and then we're going to make them pop stars and superstars and build this huge thing. It was just kind of like, yeah, kid, like you're great. Come do your job and, and that's it. I feel like that is so much healthier than kind the, of is, than the right? Disney machine. Mm. Di- in what way? Just because, like, yo, my brother, like, not to yeah, uh, not this. to throw Disney under the I'm bus, but like, my brother, out. my brother was on a Disney show, mm. and like, I went, and it's a machine. Sure, you wake up, you go do the work for X hours each day. You're with an acting coach, a singing coach, a dialect coach. You do script Man. and table. It's like it is a machine, and these kids are bred to be winners and champions and superstars. Right, and uh, we've seen with a lot of the Disney stars that does happen, but there sometimes is like a period where they go in their crazy phase. Right, uh, but I, I've noticed Nickelodeon stars don't really go through that. That's why I'm wondering, does it feel like you're, I don't, want, I don't know, for lack of better uh, words, a slave? To the system. I think, you know, it's funny because it actually sounds like they're going back to the way it was. Like in the 40s and 50s, a major movie studio would just buy you and be like, we're going to pay you, Logan, monthly or yearly. And you're going to act in two of our movies and one of our TV shows. And we're going to tour you around doing like some sort of act. And so then they kind of got away from that. And I think I've been lucky where I definitely had my like moments of being a total cliche child actor, sowing my wild oats, being an idiot at the club. But it was before camera phones or like oh, they were like the so shitty true. Nokia ones. Yeah. And so yeah. lucky you. Like, and it was 18, <laughs> 19, you. you know, just being a knucklehead. And then I cleaned it up quick enough because my mom wasn't having it. And it was just like, I got to spread my wings. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. And so that was it. But Did you cut it off then? Yeah, I mean, I just really? kind of, yeah, I was lucky enough to sort of get hip to the fact that like it's not sustainable and I would hate to diminish all the things that I've worked so hard for by being like that guy on TMZ. You don't want to be Johnny Depp mess. is what you're saying. Oh, I would love to. I would happily <clears throat> be a hot mess if I could be Johnny Depp. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's get real. 